106.7 WIZN Journey with Separate Ways. Heard the doors before that. Joe Vega taking you through your Wednesday rock and ride home. And I've got Paul Harding on the phone right now from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Hello, Paul. Hey, how you doing, Joe? I am doing well. Thanks for taking my phone call. Uh, so uh, I got a question for you. Something about doing some traveling, and um, I've heard these rumors. Of course, now that the uh, the COVID vaccine is out, and of course, uh, traveling right now is is not a great idea, obviously. But when we do get around to to making some plans and going somewhere, and obviously we're going to have to take COVID into account. And there's rumors that the airlines or the government may make it uh, mandatory to get the COVID vaccine. In fact, a number of airlines, international airlines, Australia's Qantas Airlines and South Korea's Korean Air, for instance, have both uh, spoken recently about requiring proof of vaccination to get on uh, an international flight. And Delta's CEO said something very similar recently. So um, I guess my question is, is that legal? Can they make people get the COVID vaccine to travel? Wow. You want to talk of this is one of these hot button issues. Uh, right. You know, what, do I have to walk around with my vaccination card to board an airplane to yeah. go internationally? And here's the part that I think people kind of lose track of to some degree is that if you own a restaurant uh-huh. and you don't want to have Joey Vega. Now, who would ever think like that? It would no, be of course not. Thought, but let's say somebody somewhere said, I do not <laughs> want Joey Vega in my restaurant. You don't have to be served. They do not have to serve you. Now, right. you know, if it's because of your race or religion or because of your gender, age, that's a problem. Yeah, right? that's right. But they just don't want to see, you know, they listen to you all day. They just right. want to get a piece. They don't want to hear you. That guy's uh, not no. funny. Let's not let him in here. <laughs> yeah, right. He's going to drive away patrons. It's legal. They right. can do that. Private people can do that. So here, what we're probably going to see is the airlines are looking to see what the federal government wants them to do. I don't think the federal government wants to issue a law. They may. But if they issue a law that you have to have a vaccination in order to travel domestically, right? Right. Well, there'll be lawsuits. There's going to be people all over the place. But if the airlines say, hey, we've chosen to not allow people to fly unless they had a vaccination, that would be legal, frustrating. That would be people going to be all over the board on this. So that's what I really see happening. I do think this vaccination uh, is going to play a role, certainly in international travel, but my guess is domestic travel for a short time. Right. So, So the government's probably not going to be able to do anything about this, but the airlines certainly can. Yeah. And, you know, they get a lot of their money from the government, so there's going to be a You know, a healthy discussion and maybe even some guidelines that reading between the lines say, hey, play ball. But that's where I see it going. And then it could be circumvented with proof of test, you know, the way it sort is now for some travel. Sure, yeah, you you could do the quarantine thing and all that. That's what I foresee happening. Okay. Well, thank you very much for answering that for me. Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Thanks for coming on. All right, Joe. Talk soon. Remember, you can call any of the fine lawyers at Martin Harding and Mazzotti at any time at 1-800-LAW-1010 or go online to 1-800-LAW-1010.com. All right, Mel Allen's taking over from here. He's got music from Ozzy Van Halen and Eddie Money next.